We know that many patients, once they uh, progressed through both imatinib and sunitinib, didn't have a lot of, actually had no, no FDA approved options, and many patients were treated off-label. So other tyrosine kinase inhibitors that haven't been studied or validated in GIST. Um, and unfortunately, many of those patients were kept in the community by the community docs and never actually came to academic centers to get on clinical trials. Um, so now it's great to have a third-line drug to use, um, but that also means it's more and more patients that aren't coming on clinical trials. Um, but it seems to be a very effective drug.